Richmond City Councilwoman Anne Frances Lambert is receiving some backlash online after she tweeted about her hesitancy to receive a COVID-19 vaccine. 8 News reporter Rachel Keller sat down with Lambert today to hear her side of the story. Rachel's in our digital center with what she's learned. Rachel. Good evening, Juan and Constance. In a tweet, Councilwoman Lambert brings up her uncertainty about getting the COVID-19 vaccine. Lambert says she posted the tweet only to engage and start a conversation. In the tweet, Councilwoman Lambert asks, how many of you have gotten the COVID vaccine? She then writes, I'm very hesitant and skeptical, but I'm doing my research. Several Twitter users replying to the tweet, calling it irresponsible. Lambert says many African Americans are skeptical of the medical establishment. All the way going back from the Tuskegee experiments to, you know, learning about the story of Henrietta Lacks. You know, we as black women, there's a high infant mortality rate. And then, you know, the pain that we deal with when we go into hospitals folks don't believe us. Those Tuskegee experiments she's talking about happened in 1932 when 600 African American men were recruited to record the syphilis disease, but participants were told they were being treated for bad blood. They did not receive proper treatment to cure their illness. Our reluctance is understandable, for it is born of a justifiable mistrust of medical experiments that were once implemented in the black community. That's Wayne Turnage, deputy mayor for D.C.'s Health and Human Services Agency. Even though he knows many African Americans across the country are resistant to get a vaccine, he participated in a trial and has received the first dose of the vaccine himself. In a news conference today, he encouraged others to follow his lead. Once you get vaccinated, and you should remember this, you have less than a 5% chance of contracting COVID. In reference to her tweet, Lambert says she was being transparent. But, you know, as a community leader, you know, I have to go with the science. According to Turnage, 60 to 70 percent of the 330 million people in the U.S. must be vaccinated to accomplish herd immunity. Councilwoman Lambert advises those who still have questions to call the city's COVID-19 hotline number at 804-205-3501. Live in the Digital Center, Rachel Keller, 8 News. Rachel.